I, I've never felt like I still get everything accomplished, no matter what's the time frame, but I'm pleased about how I take my leadership off the field and try to translate it on the field with my guys. You realize how important a backup can be. Right. Um, I mean, I always when I was growing up, I always learned that the backup quarterback is the most important player on the team. But as far as like gap between me and Braxton, that's something that the coaches have to uh, decide. Or if it's a gap between Braxton and JT, I mean, that's not my call. And I just got to keep getting better off the field. What happened by Mayless is how confident are you that you could step in and cover the truth at the time calls for? Right, um, I'm pretty confident about it. But what gives me confidence is my coaches uh, being hard on me and my players around me picking me up when I'm down. Like, our first half was terrible as far as the uh, Scarlet team. But just them guys in my ear, them older guys like Taylor Decker, even like some young guys who on defense, like Joey Bosa coming to me and something like, come on, you got it, uh, pick us up, this and that. So that what gives me my confidence, actually. <laughs> This game, how do you how do you put the results of this in any kind of perspective with so much with the squad being split up and so many players not being here and all of that? I mean, it's a hard to. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to, like Coach Meyer probably said, like he said, he uh, said, rate the game because the guys didn't play and um, just guys not having a feel for each other. And that comes with time, with which we would do in uh, offseason, far as throwing the ball to each other and knowing what type of releases guys run, knowing where the ball will come from different quarterbacks. So.